Hello and what's up everyone. I hope you're all doing super good. As you can see, I'm holding a lapel mic in my hand right now. This is where the audio is coming from. It is a Rode SmartLav Plus mic. I want to show you how to connect the Rode SmartLav mic to your MacBook or your MacBook Pro because when you plug it in into the headphone port as you would with your uh, iPhone headphones, it doesn't work. It doesn't get recognized at all. You can do it with a splitter, but I don't have a splitter with me at the moment, so I had to sort of compromise and figure out a way to do it so that I can continue with my video production. So I'll show you guys my setup. I will remove this phone from the tripod and I will show you guys how I did it, how I got my Rode SmartLav mic to work on my MacBook Pro. Let's go down and I'll show you guys how to do it. All right, so here's the Rode SmartLav. Here's my MacBook. And then I've got an extra iPhone here. So this Rode SmartLav mic is going through into an iPhone 6 Plus. This iPhone then goes through the USB into my Mac and then this second USB cable is for the camera that we're actually recording this with on an iPhone 7 Plus. As I speak, let me show you. See the audio waves? As I tap, so as you can see it works. What I did on this iPhone is I installed an app called Microphone. It is a free app. As you can see it's running. Simply plugged in the Rode Smart Lab into it, and then let's have a look at the actual setup on the Mac. On the Mac itself, uh, what I did to enable that iPhone to actually be used as an audio device or as a mic on the MacBook Pro is I opened Audio MIDI Setup, and I enabled the iPhone here, and it shows up like this. I plugged in the mic into the iPhone and then once you enable it here under audio MIDI devices in your system preferences you'll actually see the iPhone uh, show up as a USB device and an input device. When I change the default input here the audio will actually stop inputting from this mic through the iPhone. Let's try it out. You're going to hear me on the computer's mic right now and back onto the lapel mic. Simple as that. All right, so that's it. You don't really need two iPhones. It's just because of the way that I'm capturing video on this iPhone, audio on that iPhone, streaming everything uh, through to OBS on my Mac. But you can do this with one iPhone, plug your Rode Smart Lab mic into your iPhone, USB from the iPhone to the Mac, audio MIDI setup, simply enable that iPhone as an inter-device audio, meaning you're gonna uh, stream the audio from the iPhone to the Mac. And then with the microphone app on the iPhone, it simply outputs your microphone and you can select on this microphone app uh, whether you wanna use the headset mic, which is the plugged in one, or whether you want to use the iPhone's mic itself. See, headset mic, change that to iPhone mic. Enable it. And now we are capturing audio from the iPhone mic. We can switch all of this as we stream live or record video. I'm going to put it back onto the lapel mic where you'll actually get better audio, I suspect. 
go back to the headset mic. <laughs> it breaks the audio when, it, when you switch it, so you need to turn it back on and off again. There we go, back on lapel mic, better audio quality. As simple as that, that's how you connect your Rode SmartLav to your MacBook or your MacBook Pro or something like that. Have a good day. Cheers, guys.